guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. We're at uh, Oakdale Gun Club. It's the first kind of warm day of the season. It's uh, mid-April 2014. And uh, i got a couple things to do today. One is uh, check out these new sites for my Glock. These are the Dawson Precision uh, competition sites. I'll try to show that off. And uh, it's a fiber optic front with the uh, kind of matte black rear. It's uh, very nice. I'm, I'm liking them so far. The price is great at 75 bucks. We're gonna do a little bit of testing today. I'm gonna to sandbag the pistol at 25 yards and get some uh, some data on the uh, sights to make sure they're ready for the match this weekend. And also, um, our good friend uh, Kent at uh, Common Sense Defense has been making nine millimeter for us for a couple years now. And, uh, gonna run a little bit of this and um, and just check it out and make sure the sights are right and the ammo is running really well on the gun for the competition this weekend. Now, I've, uh, I've never sandbagged a pistol before, but I wanted to take uh, as much of the human element out as possible when the sights are uh, working correctly. So, uh, before we do that, eyes and ears, let's give this a go. Let's see. I'm a little all over the map on this one, but uh, again, I've never done this before, so. Oh. Well, there's an interesting fact. The sights seem to be running better off the bags than they are in them, so. Try this again with a out that. Okay, so now we're up here at about uh, 15 yards from the target, and I wanted to get out from underneath the shed so. You could, uh, and I could see that uh, red dot, which is very hard to line up. There we go. But uh, it's obviously uh, much brighter here when the fiber optic is getting a little more light. So let's take a look at this. Hmm. So I'm running this at 10 yards right now, and that's a shot I would. Uh, never miss really so I'm thinking that uh, I might need to adjust these sights a little bit to compensate. That's definitely better. I think I'll tape it up and run a few more. So that's the Dawson Precision Sights at uh, 10 yards right there. I mean, I would think that would be certainly good enough for anything I'm going to be shooting. Uh, the only thing that's a little weird to get used to for me is I'm used to the old uh, three poles where um, there's really very little <coughs> uh, breathing room between the front sight and the notch there. And with these sights, if you can see, yeah, there's quite a bit of daylight between them. So I just finished uh, shooting my first match since I put the uh, Dawson Precision sights on my Glock. It was a five-stage USPSA match and um, there were a couple things that I was doing today. I, I don't shoot USPSA very often so um, I'm still trying to be a little more accurate than I need to be um, in three guns. So I'm working on you know, really focusing on A-zone targets, not speed. Um, but I'll tell you, I found the Dawson sights to be absolutely awesome. Now, I'm sure there are other great fiber optic sights out there. but um, I can definitely vouch for these. It was amazing to see how uh, much quicker I could get on that bright red dot. It came up really fast. It was very visible. Uh, it was 
almost difficult not to be sight focused. They were so bright, and you can see outside today. This is the nicest weather we've had all day. In fact, we uh, were driving down earlier. It was hailing and raining and, and pretty horrible, so the match was delayed a half an hour. So even on a dark day like this, that red uh, fiber optic just lit up. It was fantastic. So uh, we'll be doing a full review on this ammunition from our good friend Kent at Common Sense Defense. Uh, but until then, we wish you all the best. Um, go to our website, Hawkeye Ordnance, to our Facebook page, Hawkeye Ordnance. Subscribe to us here on YouTube, and uh, be safe out there. God bless.